Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29 back again for another DC review and in this DC review I'll be covering Batman issue 139 by Chip Zdarsky and by uh, Trujillo, I'll be covering Blue Beetle issue 3, I'll now get things organised for the first one that I'll be reviewing for the second week of November so moving into first things first does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story uh, in some essence it does to which i give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, now it's time to move into the internal art as we have a look around the beginning middle and of course the end and also what's happening with the characters story-wise i must point out i will not be covering the backstory in this so as we start to move into one of the first scenes we um, is this meant to be Bruce Wayne here? Because it's really hard to tell, and, uh, no one's really acknowledging the character as Bruce Wayne, and I, I, I must admit, this is pretty, well, you get the thing, <laughs> maybe I should just for, show the meme, but apart from that, the art is actually quite interesting, as we start to move towards the middle of the story, we learn that the Joker has basically set up a scene and it's almost like he's got some marionettes, but also some real bodies mixed in with puppets. So very interesting indeed. And last but not least, how DC continues to destroy the Batman universe. So, for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Moving into the next thing, that is the area of the story. So, first things first, considering how far we are comic-wise, uh, do we get any comic book references? Uh, first one we get is for Justice League issue 50, but it, but it doesn't actually state what year or um, issue that we're dealing with this particular Justice League that they're trying to reference, which would make a little bit more sense in the editing department. Have they gone full retard as well? Um, next is in reference to Batman the Night. So there are some things that are connected to that story. You know, it's a bit of an Elseworlds type story. Uh, it might take place a little bit differently here in the main canon. Moving into the next thing, which is the area of time, to which we have 12.20 a.m. being mentioned actually quite early in the story. The location this is taking place in is in Gotham. The cast of characters consisting of Zero and Er. Uh, seriously, get Zero and Er out of being in Batman's mind and any other fucking thing like that. Let Batman have his own mind back. And seriously, stick to the original idea with Zero and Er, and in other words, let him be sort of like the Batman of a planet that's overrun by freaking robots. <laughs> Not the Batman, but someone who likes Batman, but he's called Zero and Er Bat or something like that. And yeah, make one of the things that he actually learns to delve into. It is sort of like doing what um, the pyromaniac guy who's able to control minds. Ha have him be involved in something like that. Like trying to use people as tools, including Bruce Wayne, Batman. The same, same could be said for Barbados and... This bloody new crap that's in uh, Ram V's run right now. 
just create them as separate entities, not as entities within Bruce's mind. Let him get his bloody autonomy back. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. Because, uh, if anything, I think it's destroying Batman's character even more. It's not actually helping. Alright, moving into the next character from Zero we have Batman Bruce Wayne. We had someone by the name of Floyd make an appearance. And last but not least, the character of the Joker. The overall rating in this, I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into Blue Beetle, issue 3. So, as we move into Blue Beetle, issue 3. Does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that's inside the story? In some essence, it does, to which I give a 7 out of 10. To which we have Jaime Reyes going up against a Blood Scarab. If anything, how about we change Jaime Reyes' name to maybe the Blue Scarab? Alright, at least then, uh, we still get Blue Beetle, Ted Cord, and whoever else came before him. And we just call this the Scarab Run. And make that his name. Alright. Even though the character is quite interesting in this story. Um, I do give this cover a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the internal art. To, to which we'll have a look around the beginning, middle and of course the end. So as we move into the beginning. We end up moving into learning about the Scarab War Part 2. And, of course, we jump into the area of the Oblivion Bar, to which we see quite a number of members there uh, that are seen in the DC Universe, from the Detective Chimp to Dead Man and a couple of others. We get Blue Devil there. Uh, we also catch up with some other characters, Tracy 13 and Madame Xanadu, which I think was really quite nice. And what, what's even better is having the characters' names being addressed in story. As we start to jump towards the middle of the story, Jaime Reyes ends up moving to Egypt, or going to Egypt with one of his friends, as they're looking for some information around another scarab. And I think he's with Tracy 13 at the time. It's not very clear, but... We do get to see a cause of events take place, and we end up meeting and encountering the Blood Scarab. So, for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. So, first things first, do we get anything interesting time-wise? No, we don't. Uh, whether it's morning, noon, night, not really. Though it should be addressed in story, as it would help actually bring up the story rating. Um, the locations, we got to see the Oblivion Bar and Egypt, and of course, no idea where the hell um, Jaime Reyes lives in this, um, something that they need to get on top of. Uh, cast of characters, the Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle, we got to see Detective Chimp, Dead Man, Man Xanadu, Tracy 13, Starfire, someone by the name of Brenda, uh, Jomara, and last but not least, the Blood Scarab. For the overall rating in this, I give a 7 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.